Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Today's topic will be 14 psychological forces that lead good people to make bad things. The appropriate circumstances can allow good people to become involved in some very horrible activities. Psychological factors are frequently at fault. Good people don't usually fall over the deep end like Bernie Madoff or Kenneth Lay when it comes to unethical actions. Instead, the mind deceives people, leading them over the precipice of dubious action. Bad behavior has been a focus of Dr. Mule Captain's research for many years. He is a professor of business ethics and integrity management at the Rotterdam School of Management. He recently published a study that provides significant insight into the reasons why good people commit crimes. Here are 14 of Dr. Captain's most convincing observations about how the mind deceives good people into losing their moral sense and straying. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell symbol, then select all notifications to never miss a video upload from us. 1. The Compensatory Effect the compensating effect is the propensity for people to believe they build more moral capital. We use our good deeds to offset our bad deeds, or alternatively, we allow ourselves vacations from goodness, such as a piece of chocolate after a week of salads. This increases the likelihood that bad deeds will be committed under the pretext of, I'm a good guy, or, it's only this one thing. A study that found that people were seen lying and cheating more after deciding to buy environmentally friendly products is a wonderful illustration of this. 2. Names have power. It matters what you call something since it might distort people's perceptions of reality. Employees are less likely to take their unethical activity seriously if organizations give simple and amusing euphemisms to unethical practices, such as, financial engineering, for accounting fraud. The famous quote by IBM founder Thomas Watson, doing business as a game, the greatest game in the world if you know how to play it, is attributed to him. Making business a game can make people less likely to understand that their activities have significant, real-world repercussions. 3. Dissonance in thinking. Cognitive dissonance is the discomfort people experience when they hold two opposing viewpoints or when their actions don't match their beliefs. It's one of the most powerful psychological influences influencing how people behave. Because they can't stand the contradiction between their actions and their ideals, those who consider themselves to be good tend to disregard negative behavior. 4. Theory of a broken window. According to the broken window theory, an organization's confusion and disorder led employees to assume they are subject to an ineffective leader. As a result, people are more likely to act unethically in accordance with this felt disarray. As an illustration, consider how Mayor Rudy Giuliani reduced major crime rates in New York City during the 1980s by strictly enforcing petty crime laws. New Yorkers developed a sense of trust in the administration of their city as a result of living in a less violent metropolis, which lowered the frequency of serious crimes. 5. Limited Perspective. Nothing is wrong with setting objectives and working hard to achieve them. This only becomes a problem when someone has a laser-like focus on a single objective to the point that they neglect to take into account other crucial factors like compassion and ethics. 6. The Pygmalion Effect. People often behave in accordance with how other people treat them, which is known as the Pygmalion Effect. As an illustration, staff members are more inclined to behave honorably if they are viewed as upright team members. As an alternative, if individuals are treated with suspicion, they are more inclined to behave in a way that supports that impression. 7. The Need for Conformity. It's hard not to feel pressured to fit in. People are much more likely to support or participate in unethical activity when a group does it than to take a chance on standing out when such behavior occurs. 8. Obedience to authority. Most people find it quite challenging to disregard the desires of those in positions of control. If they act on someone else's instructions, people also believe that they are less accountable for wrongdoings. 
These two explanations help to explain why employees are more inclined to carry out their managers' unethical requests and experience significantly less remorse as a result than if they had made the decision alone. 9. In all-out competition. In our society, there is frequently only one victor. One person takes home the award, one person gets the job, one person gets the glory. But does this culture of competition truly result in the best results? The answer is no in terms of moral behavior. People are more inclined to cheat when there is only one winner in a given circumstance than to suffer the repercussions of losing. 10. The theory of social bonds. If workers believe they are special, valuable, and significant, they are more likely to stay with their employers. The more replaceable and undervalued they feel, the more prone they are to break ethical rules. 11. The power's blinding impact. Those in positions of authority frequently believe they are fundamentally distinct from their subordinates. This may cause them to establish higher standards for their employees' ethical behavior than they do for themselves. The subsequent events are worthy of newspaper headlines. 12. Prominent consumption. Spending lavishly by businesses encourages immoral behavior. Flashy shows of affluence breed more selfish behavior. Employees either work hard to get these carrots or grow envious of their wealthy counterparts who do. People who are affected by this are more prone to prioritize their own needs over doing the right thing. 13. Accepting minor thievery. It could seem harmless to take modest items from the office, such as notebooks, pens, and computer paper. However, people are much more likely to boost the ante if management chooses to dismiss minor thefts. 14. Reactance theory. People enjoy being free. They frequently disobey the rules, and even go further against protocol than they ordinarily would, if they feel the restrictions placed on them are too severe or onerous. The basic, almost everyday circumstances that lead to ethical transgressions are arguably the most alarming aspect of them. Thankfully, eliminating the environments that encourage this behavior can be accomplished with only a little bit of understanding. In the upcoming videos, we'll look at various topics. Thank you for taking the time to watch our channel.